Hey guys, it's Louise here and welcome back to my channel. So today we have season three, episode two of The Mandalorian, and I'm very, very, very excited. I absolutely loved the episode last week. Um, I'm so, so glad that our boys are back. They're finally back with us, and we're going to see what kind of shenanigan shenanigans that they get up to. Um, so yeah, the plan is to go to Mandalore and find out what the fuck's going on. Um, so yeah, it's going to be very interesting. So let's get into the episode. Oh, yeah, that's what I call pod racing. <gasps> Pelly! Hi! 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 The BD! The BD droid! Oh! Me? You know, I do have a life. Big holiday. I have big plans. Big plans with the Jawas? <laughs> Dude, I would so watch a spin-off show of just Pally. Just Pally and her droids. Entering with style, baby. Where's my guy? Where is he? There he is! He definitely didn't say Pally, but sure, I'll let you have it. I need a droid part. Bro, my Disney my Disney Plus crashed. I'm so upset. Ah, ah I'm back to the start. God fucking damn it. I'm here on business. Oh, with the hutchback? Are you taking out Boba Fett? I need a droid part. Are you taking out Boba Fett? I mean... Foreshadowing? I hope not. Ma'am. Which is why I think you should buy this beauty here. <laughs> I mean, no. I can't use an astromech. I need a droid that's rated for spelunking. Spelunking? You're supposed to be piloting starfighters across the galaxy and fighting tyranny. It's falling apart, and besides... Oh my god, is he actually taking him? Oh, come on now, don't be a coward. You're an astromech. Bruh. Like I wouldn't rely too much on this one. It's <laughs> secretary that's like, but that's my seat. I thought you said it was built for adventure. What? Sorry, I can't hear you! <laughs> May the force be with you! Thanks, Pelly! Love you, bestie! Oh, right. look at him. You ready for an adventure? Yeah! I want an adventure! Oh, that's so beautiful! Oh, that's so pretty! Ah! Oh. Oh. That way, you'll never be lost. He's such a dad. Oh. Fuck. God damn. From the surface, we won't be able to communicate with anyone out of atmosphere, so we have to be careful. Down here, we're completely cut off from the Well, that's the not galaxy. scary at all. Damn, this looks insane. Holy shit. Don't be a baby. Just get the samples we need. And hurry up. <laughs> Aww. He's a father of two now. <laughs> His little here. wine! Oh my god! <sighs> go He's it. making so many more noises than choice. usual! I was hoping to avoid going out there. Seal yourself in your pod. Be right back. Where is his pod? How does it fit in there? What else are you hiding in there, Din? Oh, I recognize this cave. I feel like we saw this in the trailer. Which is why I wish I didn't watch trailers, honestly. As fun as it is, I wish I didn't watch them. Fuck. The fuck are they? They're horrifying. Oh, 
you can see how heavy it is. He still isn't used to it. Damn. Oh, Din. Oh, baby boy. Oh, Din. Oh. Oh, honey. Damn, he is terrifying looking. But that was nice. Well done. I'm proud of you. Very well done. You almost fucked it, but well done. You'd be better taking, like, someone like Chopper. Like, I'm sure R5 is great. But, like, for somewhere like this, you need Chopper. You need Chop Chop with his little Chop 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 Chop. Damn, that's smooth. I guess we're on our own from here. Batu. His little Batu. 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 <laughs> what if there's like a Maldalorian helmet down here? That would be sick to see. Whoa, Jesus! Um... Hello? Bro, what? That mall really upgraded his spider legs, fuck! All right, Grogu, go back to the ship. Bring R5 with you, get him to pilot the ship. Go find help, because you, you're good with a force, but you're not this good. You're still a baby. Dude, that eye is fucking creepy. Ooh. Ooh, what the fuck is this shit? Dude, Din just keeps losing all his fucking weapons. He's not catching a break here. Dude, that robot has no idea what he just threw down on the floor there. This little run, this little hop. Oh, I'm so in love with him. Oh, it's so loud, Grogu. Get to bo -Katan. Yay! Oh, let's go, Grogu! Fucking skills! Fucking trick shot at that shit! Holy fuck! Nice one! Woo! <laughs> did the full Luke Skywalker jump. That's what he taught him. Oh! Get them back, droid! Go on! Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Holy shit, this is insane. Majesty, a child is here to see you. What happened to him? <laughs> it's like the communication is not there. It's like, oh, that's a nice ship. Like, uh, yeah, where are they? <laughs> like, <laughs> bless him. He tried his best. But she's so fucking pretty. I cannot handle it. Okay, kid. I'm gonna need you to guide me to him. Can you do that? bo -Katan and Grogu on a mission together. Let's go! I knew quite a few Jedi, you know. I don't know what they taught you about us, but there was a time we actually got along quite well. Fought side by side. How good are you Stop. at the Force? Stop! <laughs> you must be quite good at it if you got back to me all alone. <laughs> He's so fucking cool. Did you think your dad was the only Mandalorian? Your dad? Your dad? <gasps> Those are Alamites. 
and we were their next meal. If they survived, I wonder what else might have too. Something very scary. What are you injecting into him? That's not where the penicillin goes, Ellie. Oh, is he roasting him? What is he pumping into him? Stop! Oh my god, I feel so gross. Stop, what are you doing? What are you pumping into him? Oh! Bro! Oh! Nice. Nice. We've seen Sabine do that. That's cool. But I love the music in the background. Are you okay? Are you trying to say something? Behind you. Whoa! Oh, she's sick. Oh. I'm gonna be honest, she deserves to have that weapon. <laughs> She fucking kills it. How did you find me? Your kid. He's tougher than he looks. He's quite the navigator. Is he gonna have to take his helmet off to take a drink? Thank you for rescuing me. Nothing to cling to but ashes. Take your helmet off, Din. Helmet, helmet, helmet. What is this? You've never eaten pog soup. Pog soup? Pog! <laughs> Can you appreciate the irony? Oh, no, 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 no! Mandalorian with their armor with Din! On this, Din! His size. Din! I'll get you back to my ship soon enough. That soup was pretty poggers. <laughs> Not, but I can't go with you until I fulfill my obligation. I will take you. To the living waters? Yes. Oh! You'd never find them on your own. <laughs> all this wreckage. Fair. I mean, she does know how to navigate the place. Don't thank me until you see them. I'm just waiting for the day that she mentions uh, Satine, and I'm just gonna cry my eyes out. Like she's gonna be like, "Oh yeah, my sister, such and such." I'm like, ah! <laughs> that this all According to ancient folklore, the mines were once a mythical lair. Mandalore the Great is said to have tamed the mythical beasts. It is from these legends that the Skull Signet was adopted and became the symbol of our planet. I swear on my name that I shall walk the way of the Mandalore and the words of the Creed shall be forever forged in my heart. Man, Din can't catch a break. What on earth? This is where it's like, oh yeah, sorry, the Mythosaur is actually a, like legit, like it's here. <laughs> here you go. <laughs> what the hell happened to him? No fucking way. What the fuck? Dude, what the fuck? I was joking when I said there was... I was joking! What the fuck? They really just went there. Dude, holy fucking shit. They fucking did that! My god! Like, what the fuck? They really said, hey, Mythosaur. Yeah, the Mythosaur that's extinct. Yeah, um, here you go. He's alive. He's here. Uh, he's just chilling under this water here. Bruh. Bo-Katan was shook. She was like... Oh. That tale that I was just telling? Yeah, that's him. Yep, the, the great Mythosaur. Yep. Fucking hell. That was... It was like unexpected but expected at the same time it's like i joked about it 
I was like, oh, imagine the Mythosaur comes up. I didn't actually expect them to do it. That was insane. Holy fuck. And it looks so cool as well. I'm so excited to see, like, I wonder if we're going to get to see it, like, full on. I imagine we would. But that's going to be so fucking awesome. It feels like a case of, like, though, it's been extinct for such a long time. Din has never been on the planet before. So was it just, like, waiting for, like, the true m ruler of Mandalore to, like, grace the waters or something? Because, like, uh, that shit doesn't just wake up for the sake of waking up. Maybe, like, uh, you know, I don't know, maybe the fact there was no one there and, like, the slight toxicity of the air. I know it's not toxic to breathe in, but, like, it's not exactly the cleanest. Maybe that woke it up, but also maybe the fact that the, the next Mandalore the Great just fucking entered its lair. I don't know. I don't, I don't really know much about it. I'm not, like, a Mandalore expert. You know, that's not my my side of Star Wars. I'm more a Night Sister expert. Not so much a Mandalore expert, but I would love to know more. I, I want to learn more, but like, god damn, that was so cool. And like, not even just that, but like just the entire the way Mandalore looks, like they've done it so well. It looks it looks horrible, but it also looks beautiful in like a in a weird kind of way. I don't know how to put it. Um, I also feel like Din has like completely opened Bo Katan's eyes to all this. Like she she's just like Maybe there is a chance. Maybe this this could be a thing, you know? Like, he's still going by his rules and he still wants to go into the into the waters and redeem himself. And she's like, holy shit, there is still hope. Like, you know, I, and I, I do think she definitely opened his... He definitely opened her eyes. Um, and especially with, like, how he's raised Grogu as well. Like, my dude, my dude. And she was, like, asking about the Force and talking about Jedi and all this kind of stuff, which I think is really cool. Um, and the way that Grogu just took matters into his own hands, went and found the droid, went back and found Bo-Katan, and was like, I'm gonna save my dad. And Bo-Katan literally called him his father, so I, it's, it's, it's official. He is officially, officially his adopted father. Um, he is Grogu Jaren. That's his fucking name. <laughs> um, but yeah, that was a really good episode. That was a lot of fun. Um, I enjoyed every second of it um and i'm still terrified by that creepy eye that was in the machine um but you know it is what it is uh but yeah i'm so excited for next week now I, that was like such a good place for them to end it to keep you wanting more but it's also a really bad place to end it because now i'm fucking desperate for next week like bruh you can't just do that i'm gonna hibernate for the next week until that comes out again um but yeah let me know what you guys think about the mythosaur uh, in the comments. Um, are we going to see Din riding a mythosaur? Who the fuck knows? I, I, I don't know. Do you think he is the ruler of Mandalore? Why do you think it woke up? What do you guys theorize is like the reason that suddenly this creature that's been extinct for such a long time suddenly decided, hey, I'm going to open my eyes and suck this 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 man dying into the waters well what's the reason tell me what do you think what do you guys think um but yeah i will see you guys uh next week uh if you haven't already make sure you subscribe for more star wars content i'm also currently reacting to the bad batch which i'm about to go record right now and i'm very excited for that um and i'm also reacting to the last of us uh which only has one week left which is quite sad but uh, make sure you subscribe for more content and i will see you guys in the next video so peace and may the force be with you